Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. I'm Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com. I'm joined by Murray Hartman uh, with Alberta Agriculture way out here in Manitoba at Canola 14. We are talking canola seed size um, and maybe some strategies for making that really large seed uh, go a bit further. So what's, what should farmers be looking at when they're comparing say a 7 to a 4? What sort of impact can that have on plant size? Yeah, obviously you, you want to kind of plan your seed purchase around um, you know, so that you can establish at least four plants or five plants per square foot. And you may order a seed lot that's um, got no thousand kernel weight. Usually you don't know until you get it. And say you, you were counting on something around four, and when it comes, it's seven. And if you plant the same pounds per acre, you've also now got 40% less seed going in the ground, and you're gonna have 40% less plants. Now, one strategy may be to plant more pounds per acre, but that's fairly costly, and a lot of producers aren't willing to maybe spend another $25 in seed. But there are a the few other strategies that you could help improve your emergence so that you can do with a, a little bit you know, lower seeds that you're planting. One would be make sure you keep a minimum of fertilizer in the seed row. So 15, 20 pounds of P205 in the seed row, that's it. No ammonium sulfate, no, you know, nothing else has to go out another, you know, deep band or something. Because then that'll improve your emergence. Seed really shallow and very slowly. That'll help improve your emergence. If you can seed a little bit later in the season, it'll probably improve your emergence versus when it's really cold and wet. And obviously, you don't um, want to be seeding fast um, if you've got worn openers, which will put more fertilizer possibly with the seed. So. Outside of just buying extra seed, there's there's a few options that you do have. Right, and one, one thing that we certainly talked about, yes, slowing down, yes, making sure that you're going in shallow, because you also mentioned um, that obviously the warmest part of the soil is the top. Yes. And you're not chasing moisture for early in the yes. spring. Yes, so yes, that's right. If you're seeding the first couple weeks of May, you shouldn't be chasing moisture. And um, so if you're seeding to a half an inch, that's the warmest part versus seeding to an inch or inch and a half, it's gonna be colder. So you'll get a faster, better emergence by seeding shallow. Just, you know, residue is another issue. You know, um, so you might pick fields if you're gonna be seeding early with a big kernel weight uh, and not bumping your seeding rate, you might pick fields that have got least amount of residue, et cetera, and gonna be less issues that way. Great, okay, well thank you so much, Brian. You're welcome.